This is Alan Dean Foster. Hi, I'm Alan Dean Foster. And he's a science fiction writer. Yes, I am. You might even be familiar with one of his books. In 1975, I worked with George Lucas and wrote the book version of Star Wars. No way. Yes way. This is Alan Dean Foster's office. This is the view from Alan Dean Foster's deck. This is how Alan Dean Foster met George Lucas. They were looking for someone to do the book version of this science fiction film that no one knew anything about. I was asked by my publisher if I'd be interested. I said yes, and that's how the book came to be. It was the opportunity of a lifetime, but it came with one pretty big caveat. George's name would be on the cover, and I couldn't admit to having ghostwritten the book. So he lied for a long time. So I had to lie to people's faces for 20 years. This is liar Alan Dean Foster's library. He's written a whole bunch of novelizations. Star Wars, of course, the first three Alien films, The Chronicles of Riddick, Clash of the Titans, and most recently, The Force Awakens. And a lot of other books, too. Sentenced to prison, these are the spell song, vanishing into points. the outer. And that's maybe the least interesting thing about him. There are secrets that uh, will forever remain unrevealed. These are Alan Dean Foster's weightlifting trophies. This is Alan Dean Foster's bench press. Okay. Here's Alan Dean Foster's front kick. Got that from Chuck Norris. Not a joke. Here's Alan Dean Foster with his camera. He's recorded his travels on six continents. I'm stuck on this one planet. I'm determined to see as much of it as I possibly can. So how does a world-famous, crazy prolific sci-fi writer manage to keep this up and still find time for his writing? Well, to stop learning is to start to die. Didn't Desiderius Erasmus say that? Yes, he did. You know, John Ford only needed one take. 